it is really the main reason why we decided to rip all of the original vinyl off of the boat, which was uh, a nightmare. I want you guys to keep an eye on how much water comes out. It's insane. So when I'm snoring at night, it really just absorbs all of that sound. <sighs> all right, guys, this cooking situation is less than ideal, but big changes are coming. This is Joel. Together with Tony and Jared, he gave up everything to buy a boat and go on the adventure of a lifetime. But after a death-defying sail to Cuba, he returned to Key West and found himself alone. Wish me luck on this adventure. When Michael finished school, I asked her to sail with me to the Bahamas. She agreed, but joined strictly as crew. Four months later, we made it to the Dominican Republic. Broke and in love. Bums on a Boat is a true story about facing fear, finding adventure, and falling in love. Each tale is brought to you by our patrons and viewers. Subscribe and click the bell to get notified about weekly premieres and visit our website to learn more. Thank you for watching. We're walking away with a little girl. These are the tales of Boab. Tonight, we dine in Valhalla! We dine in Valhalla! Skull! And now, I draw a line in the sand! So a couple weird things happened today. Joel became a Viking and I got myself a hairy chest. <laughs> so what have we been up to lately? We've actually been sneaking around on Shock Mate doing some projects without you guys knowing. You might have thought we were just cruising around on catamarans and hanging out on other people's boats, but we've actually been getting busy. And we have some very exciting progress to share with you today. Yeah, what we've done is what I would consider the fastest, easiest, and cheapest interior boat upgrade there is. And that's what we've done, and we can't wait to share that with you guys. The whole inside of our boat looks completely different. So good. Another thing that we've got going on is a huge upgrade to our galley. So we've ordered that. It's here in Lupron, ready for us to pick it up. We're doing exterior projects. So you know, long long and short of it is we're actually doing some boat projects. And so the next couple episodes, we'll be back to the old school bums on a boat, getting down and dirty. But and it's actually mate. the fun kind of projects that make our boat look a lot better. Yeah, and it's we're also still in the process of getting scuba dive certified. Certified scuba dived. Certified in scuba diving? That's it. Skull! <laughs> Enjoy this little bit of B-roll scuba dive footage while we go back to the boat to show you what we've been up to. Hey guys, welcome aboard the beautiful Shock Mate. I'm gonna tell you, first of all, what we used on that interior project. 
This stuff is a speaker box liner. I think it's also used to line car trunks. It's a felt material. It's absorbent, but it's also supposed to be mold and mildew resistant. So our thinking was that in addition to looking nice, it would provide a moisture barrier to the boat, a little bit of insulation since our hull is just bare fiberglass. So this stuff was actually pretty inexpensive. We got it on Amazon and we can't take credit for this idea. This actually came from one of our good friends, Heather. She has a boat in the harbor just over there that they're also remodeling and we saw how nice it looked on her boat and we're like we gotta try that what is the stuff so i'll leave a link in the description below in case you're interested to try this stuff out on your boat what's the concoction that you're using there um it's like a bathroom cleaner disinfector i actually took the label off like a comet brand mostly with citric acid and i just really diluted it with water but it works great for getting the mold and any stains and dirt and stuff off the fiberglass or the painted fiberglass. What do you think? Does this not look so bloody good? This right here is the infamous soft spot that the boys and I tackled pretty much right when we bought the boat. And uh, maybe they took on a little too much here. No, um, it was fine. Let's we see just, what's going on. I'm really. Back. We didn't line up the back end. We lined up good. They struggled with the lineup. And it is really the main reason why we decided to rip all of the original vinyl off of the boat, which was uh, a nightmare and I think it was a lot more than any of us expected. And the foam in between the vinyl and the wall foam was turning was into mush. It was like turning into soup and like getting into the floor, into our clothes, into everything. So this is finally, ah, oh, it looks so much better. And I wish we had known hindsight is 2020. but Tony and Jared, if you're watching this, uh, this is, any any brand will work, but it's just, it's like a spray paint and you just spray it on the wall and it's glue and it just it's it's so quick and easy and then you just stick it on there and it sticks back in the day the vinyl was peeling off in just a couple areas on the boat so we decided because we have to get at this soft spot and the vinyl was over it we're gonna have to rip that off and it was peeling off in other areas so let's just rip all the vinyl off well there was another option we were not aware of we could have just sprayed this stuff where it was coming off, <laughs> stuck it back on there, and when it comes to the soft spot, we could have just went at it from the top, which many people do. You know, it's been four years now, so you learn a little bit. Over the last couple of weeks, we've had so many items shipped to us here in the Dominican Republic. It's been like care packages from my friend Bo. Rich has sent beef jerky and just tons of snacks. We've had uh, Chris Myers, who's pretty much purchase everything off of our Amazon wish list. I think we're out of ideas right now. Uh, Henry Gomez sent us this game changer. It's a shower attachment. This first arrived and he said it would be it would change our lives but it didn't fit with our little tiny uh, pressure pump or whatever you call it, like a garden sprayer. And so he sent us the one that he thought we had. It's a big industrial beast and the shower head is amazing and literally I, I think i gotta demonstrate so the biggest difference the last one the, the the thing the hose wasn't long enough so we would literally have to scrunch up underneath it and, and it didn't have a, a shower head attachment it was so it was just really weird this one it's a shower head you can hold it over your head i'll demonstrate and it's just ooh, i think we're out of water okay we're out of water Okay, demonstration. I want you guys to keep an eye on how much water comes out. It's insane. This is insane. Ready for this? 
Look at that. That was like a couple seconds. I'm. Oh, it's amazing. It's no, no longer a little mist. We might have an intruder. Should we go check it out? Who is it, Lola? Oh, you're just on it, aren't you? Thank you for the bread. You're welcome. Oh. oh, don't mind me. It's so comfortable back here. Just couldn't help but get a little nap in. This was actually the first area that we put on our carpeted walls and it's made a really nice difference in the acoustics back here. So when I'm snoring at night, it really just absorbs all of that sound and it doesn't bother Joel who sleeps out in the city right there. We even, uh, we got a little foam so it's really comfortable and Lola and I just curl up right here with our four pillows and sleep so good. And right over here, we have what we need for the next beautifying project on the boat. It's a, for the hatch. But this is some teak oil and some teak cleaner, some teak brightener. So we're all set to do our exterior teak, which I know you guys are really excited about. We also have some wood putty to repair some of the holes in the teak that actually happened during Irma, and we haven't even addressed those yet. So we've got that, and we've got a little hole cleaner to take care of those gross stains kind of down by our water line. So we're really excited to get the exterior of the boat looking as good as the interior. Now our port side storage area is actually not looking so hot right now, but that's just because we have this piece of foam here that we have not put to good use yet, but we will. We have big plans for this nice big green piece of foam. This is what our crevice looks like. We call it the crevice. I believe it technically is called a quarter berth, but we have a, a half made bo battery box back there. Our netting, thank you Bruce, we're still waiting to put that on. Uh, we need to fix our lifelines. So that is a project coming up, but we have netting that we're gonna put all around the outside of our lifelines so Lola can stay nice and snug. Uh, you see we have a guitar. You might have noticed this beautiful Fender amp here. We are getting into music a little bit here on Shock Mate, but it looks so much nicer. Not bad, not bad. And it's great for the acoustics, so same here. Our port lights still basically look like crap, so all of this interior renovation probably doesn't make a lot of sense while this still looks really ugly. But my bright idea for that is this stuff right here. So this was another Amazon find, one that I found myself. Um, it's basically just something that sticks to windows, like you don't actually glue it on there or anything, you just get it wet, cut it to the shape that you want it and you stick it on there and it blocks something like 90% of the UV rays and all of the heat but lets a little bit of light through. So I think that might be a good solution. I can show you what this is kind of look like a little bit. Almost like a stained glass window, kind of pretty. We're still getting some light but... It's a lot of light, you can't even... Hopefully the window will cover it more because you can't even see it. Where? Huh? Oh, you'll see. Um, you'll see. Yeah, I don't mind having the light inside of our boat. I actually like that as long as there's no heat. That was the big reason why we covered everything up. All right, guys. This cooking situation is less than ideal. I think you can probably tell it's possibly even dangerous with this propane bottle right next to the stove. The single burner stove is what we've been rocking for a long time, but big changes are coming. The next time you see this galley, it's going to be transformed. I'd like to know your guesses. What do you think we're going to do to transform our cooking situation? Leave those guesses in the comments below. And no, we're not getting rid of this garlic hanging basket because this thing is awesome. So for all of you out there that love boat restoration videos, have we got a channel for you. 
Meet Erica and Davey and Foxy. Foxy. Foxy's also from the Dominican Republic, from Barefoot Sail and Dive. Now, I'll just do a quick intro. Why are they gonna have so much boat work? Well, they just bought a hurricane damaged catamaran. What's so, going on here? This is our boat. This is what we bought. Uh, we wanted to get into the uh, catamaran side of sailing for a while, but we couldn't afford one. So we decided to buy a hurricane damaged boat. Um, something with our skills, we should be able to repair this quite easily. It's gonna take a lot of elbow grease. Yep, exactly, stroke that elbow. That's very important. <laughs> so what have you just recently found? Well, we've been building a hard top for a little bit um, and it's taken a little bit longer than we thought, but it has to take a bit of a back step now because we found out that we have a leak in the starboard hull. So uh, we're we taking on get... water, but now the bilge pump's working. So that's really helping. Um, but no, we need to get a haul out. So we're going to get hauled out at Marina Tropical, same place that you guys did. And uh, hopefully we'll be there for a month. There's going to be a lot of boat works it's coming up. It's going to be, we're not just going to do the underwater line. We're also going to fix the cabin top. At the hard top, all the fiberglass works. So there's loads of really good boat works coming up. So if you're interested in that sort of stuff, please hit us up, um, subscribe. Yeah, let them know the bum sent sent you. Exactly. Yeah, Leave yeah. it in the comments that bum sent you to us, and uh, let's all work together. Let's have some fun and uh, see what we can do with this uh, hurricane damaged catamaran. Yeah. And just also, what do you guys think if we were to challenge the bums? For uh -huh. a bit of like a fun day out, what do you think? Like Let's kind do of a like challenge. a kind of like a ch uh, channel versus channel. We've we've kind of been talking it over. What do you think? Would you watch that? You do know, you have any ideas what type of challenges we should do between <laughs> us? Chuck it in the comments because this could be real. We can build something from this and make a really good couple of episodes. So if you're interested, put we it in the comments it. and tell us what you want us to do against each other. <laughs> Joel loves water stuff, so let's do everything in the water. I'm a pro at scuba diving. Everybody knows that. I've got two whole dives. <laughs> two. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. This was our best attempt to catch you up with all things bums and all things shock mate. Yeah, even though we wanted to go sailing this season and COVID kind of locked us down and now it's hurricane season, it's actually been a great opportunity to address the comfort aspect of our boat and do maybe non-essential projects. So it's actually been a really nice alternative for us. Also, we didn't mention the oil leak. Uh, some of you might know we have a little small oil leak, but we do have a pretty easy solution to that and we will be tackling that shortly as well. So yeah, we'll have some boat projects coming. Mm -hmm. And we have some very special guests coming in about a month. I'm not gonna tell you who those guests are. You'll just have to wait. You'll just see. have to wait, but we might be able to put them to work on Shock Mate and get like twice as much done. Ooh. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit that like button, and leave us a comment. Yeah, say hello, <laughs> say hi. Tell me what you think of the new hairdo, and don't hold back. You know who you know who you are. Let me have it. Give me everything you got. All right. See you All right, next guys. Time. Take care. Bye. These are the tales of Boab. Focus. Boab! Lola dipped. How come you're so quiet?